What's going on, guys? And welcome back to what? What? What are they watching? What are they watching? What are they watching? Whose channel is this? We're in the channel nine. 10. Channel nine. Oh, okay. Life for Eddie, cabrón. Uh, not life for Eddie. Eddie's life. God. Okay, guys. Well, clearly, I'm not gonna let them start my videos anymore. But today's video, we're going to talk about. And you guys keep asking me this question, Eddie. Did you go to college? What college did you go to? Uh, no, I did not go to college. I, you know, wasn't really a school person, I should say. I was not that good at school. Um, and for these guys, I don't know. I don't know if they went to college. Um, but, you know, this video I want to talk about, do you really need college to not, you know, I should say make it in this world, but just to survive, you know, just to live. And you guys know, living in California, the people that do live here in California know how expensive it is. As I mean, they're all, they will all tell you, Mario, How's California? Is it cheap over here? Fuck no, man. Well, you got you guys know. Rainbow, how is California? Is it cheap to live here? Uh, I own a one million dollar house. One million dollar, nice. <laughs> Only Efren likes to live here. He's the rich one. He's got the Porsche and BMW. How many BMWs do you have, Efren? BMWs? One? Just one? I thought you had right. multiple. So. Remember he has apartments underneath the uh, motorhomes? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. He lived under the motorhome because the motorhome was leaking. Yeah. <laughs> they are, they're doing some adjustments, guys. Uh, give, give them a sec here. We will uh, we'll ask them their, their school, their future, what they did. But uh, as of right now, um, Mario finally got the uh, heads back for the PT Cruiser so they could finish this thing. And it looks like, let me get out of the way so they don't run me over. Mario's excited. He finally got uh, his head back. What do you think about it? Look good? Up to your standards? Oh, that's the my standard. That's the machinist standards. You know, oh, okay. That's machinist. Machinista standards. Machinista standards. You know, standards you know. And uh, you guys can see here clearly. Uh, can I rip this? Yeah. Go for yeah. It. All right. Go you can see it. here where uh, they welded. So this had it. the coolant, ate this up, ate the aluminum, the guy cracked right here. And you can see here where they. This is uh, looks like here where it was been welded, rewelded, and machined. So now uh, this customer should be very, very happy. Well, as happy as you can be with a PT cruiser. Yeah, hey, you know what? She just said, I need a car to go from point A to point B. And uh, clearly a uh, resurfaced head. Yeah, what are you doing, man? What's going on over here? I'm oh, just separating all my gaskets, man. All right. So I know, guys, you guys are all wondering and wanted to know, uh, you know, figure out the moral of this whole video. The moral of this video is, did any of these guys go to college? What do you guys think? Mario, did you go to college? Um... So I can technically say I went to college. Oh, okay, okay. Um, when I was in high school, I went to, during the summer breaks, you know, I went to QMAC College. Okay. Junior college. Out of high school, I did go to San Diego State. What did you go there for? Uh, I went there for computer engineering, um, but to be honest, school wasn't really my thing. Um, okay. I kind of fudged it when I went and overloaded myself with too many units. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad I didn't finish it. Um, because everybody from my graduation class was pretty much still working at McDonald's or in and out. In and out's not that bad apparently from what I hear, but um, they're working at fast food. So they had student loans and working at fast food. Me, I went into the trade and I didn't have any bills. I had a nice truck. Um, oh yeah, we gotta make a video also guys of his uh, truck. He's got a pretty sick truck he's getting worked on, but we'll, we'll do that another video. But so you, you kind of went to college, but did not finish college yeah I didn't finish college but um, you know I don't regret it you know you are who you are by your by what you experience in life but um, I don't regret it I don't have that loan that people from my graduating class to this day still have yeah and are stuck so. with a you know crazy crazy loan they so then got a car payment paying off education and still waking a little bit above minimum wage guys so. so and the moral of the story guys is you know not saying college is useless but you know Let's 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 say this. Where did you, if you didn't go to college for, because I figured you were going to tell me automotive, uh, and then you didn't go there. Clear for that. How did you learn automotive, um, or how did you get in this industry? I guess it started with my dad and my uncle. Um, my dad taught me basics. You know, I was always there helping them pass some wrenches and stuff, and doing oil changes and brakes. My uncle was the first one that got me into hot rods. Um, you know, he had a mid uh, '55 Ford pickup truck, and now he got a '54 Ford panel truck. Um, you know, and just through, you know, you, the kind of people you hang out with, you kind of go into that same kind of field, you know, let's say, uh, 
same birds of a kind flock together or something like that, you know. But okay, okay. But I mean, you're clearly, I mean, it looks like you've, you know, grown a lot, pulling heads oh, yeah. off and stuff. Yeah, I mean, honestly, for the jobs I've had, I, I always take anything that benefits me. Like John here behind me, I mean, he's definitely shown me some tricks here that I didn't know. And you know, one thing you guys have to know is you can't be afraid to ask for help. And if you don't know something, don't. Help. Ask for help. Yeah, because I get a lot of questions on this channel. You know, is the automotive industry easy? And like I've told you guys in the last video, no, this industry is not easy, and it's very difficult finding good technicians. Uh, you know, anybody can come and interview you, or you will interview them, and they can sound good, you know, and uh, talk really highly of themselves. Uh, but it's when you actually put them to the test. So when I met Mario, um, our you guys remember our buddy Dan. Uh, he sent me Mario and you know, Dan told me, or I asked Dan, you know, is Mario good? He said, well, you know, just try it. And you tell me, you, you let me know. Uh, because, you know, anybody can say, yes, you're great, you're good, but until you actually get him under the hood, that's, you know, what it's gonna come down to. And Mario, uh, you know, we just threw him here and told him, here, this thing needs a new head gasket. And sure enough, in less than a day, he had that heads pulled off, ready to go. Um, the only reason you know why it's now and Monday and, and still taking this long is because we had to wait for the machine shop. And I mean, he's knocked it out and done great. That same goes, you know, for uh, all the guys here. Uh, we'll ask Efren too um, if he went to college. I don't think he did, but I know uh, Rainbow. Rainbow, did you go to college? Rainbow was in one year. military service. You what? One year. You did go to college one year? What'd you go for? Um, it was economics. Economics, okay, yeah. and now you're a me My mechanic. major was supposed to work in the uh, stock market. Stock market, oh, yeah. all right. But then I got married, got kids, and I have to drop out. Jeez, and well, why did you become a mechanic? Uh, actually, or how did you know, you know, where did you get the knowledge? I did 18 years of uh, auto parts. And oh, that's where wow. I got all my knowledge, of course, 18 years. Wow, that's a yeah. long, jeez. And guys, I mean, and you guys know, I don't talk numbers on this channel, but I pay them, and they make pretty damn good money. Um, I'm, you know, I gotta admit, for for and I'm not saying for being a mechanic, uh, because this job is not easy, but they make really good money. Um, and you know, they don't have any loans. Or Mario, do you have any student loans? Nope. Rainbow, you got any student loans out? No. No. So they are pretty much student loan free don't have to you know deal with any of that stuff which that's you know the good part you, you got your paycheck and i mean yeah you can have bills car payments but you don't got to worry about you know thousand dollars student loan or thousands i should say efren your turn what's going on did you go to college oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> you, got hillbillies like me. No you know you i know you didn't even go to school I'll, I'll i'll let you guys know about hillbilly later but efren how about <laughs> how about yeah he can fix the car efren hold on where are you going what do you mean? Okay, hold on. Did you go? Everybody wants to know. Did you go to college? Oh, yeah, I say yes. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. What college did you? Okay, you did. What college did you go to? I went to, um, I forget the name right now. Hold on. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got my like, flying and other things. Uh, oh, oh, okay. So, uh, let, let, <laughs> I can't, you know, it's hard for you to even say or lie that you went to college. Okay, so what college was it, Efren? Uh, Balboa Elementary School. Balboa Elementary School? That's yes. a college, okay. That's my so, college. So clearly, guys, Efren did not go to college. So Efren, <laughs> when did you? Why you did, say and I went to college? Oh, okay, okay, I should say, did you go to high school? I went to high school. You did, which high school? I went to high school at uh, Point Loma High School. Point Loma High School? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You can check, you can check on Google. Uh, hi, uh, Type in Jefe? Yeah, and you see my name right there. Okay. Okay, so guys, Efren did not go to college. Efren, did you choose not to go to college or did you want to go to college? Well, the problem was I went to college, but I didn't finish it because... Uh, you did go to college. I went. You really went? Yes. What, what college? Bro, it's not matter. Okay. <laughs> I went to college, but I just don't finish it. I went to like one year. One year? One year. T T TJ? TJ. TJ College? Yeah. Okay. All right. And what did you go there for? I went for, uh, I think it was electronic. I was electronic, yeah. Electronic, like engineer or? Uh, it's a short, uh, was it short, what do you call it? What is it? A Not engineer, but I mean electric. electric Just like, electrical? Yeah. So like computers or? Kind of computers and, and uh, 
electrical industry, electrical industry like um, oh, like big stuff like 110, 220, stuff like that. Okay, okay, and well, clearly uh, you're not doing any of that. No. So no, why? Because was, you know what? I get so much distraction, bro, over there. Uh, one day I was, I don't know, thinking something else, and my teacher says, Efren, just cut this, cut these wires, and I, I, I grab the scissors and I cut the wires. But I forgot to disconnect that thing out of the outlet. <laughs> <laughs> when I cut the wires, I have it like this, and I cut it, and a spark comes out, and my hands go like this. Like, oh man, so I said, yeah, this is not for me, I think. This is not for you, because you yeah. forgot to unplug it. Yeah. Was it 110 or 220? 110. Oh, okay, that's well, good. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. You don't, you don't get as shock, it just tickles. Mm. And put to my so then after that you just said that's it I'm done with this I'm gonna start automotive yeah okay. I've been doing this for 22 years now Ooh. 22 years, bro. and why did you pick automotive I don't know because I, I like I like I like the, the I work I like to work in my own cars too that's why probably. ah okay I want to learn this and because I have a car has a problems and I don't want to pay mechanics so I have decided to do it myself so yeah and I'm doing it now so. so if somebody wants to start a career would you say the automotive industry is a good career okay career dying career um, it's a good one good one it, you, you you see it growing I mean a lot of people are worried they tell me you know what are you gonna do in all these electric cars where everything goes electric well, you need to update your, your, your brain. Like you need to go to school again to, to learn. To learn. So that's that's gonna take some schooling. Yeah. So you see, guys, there's some stuff that you know it will take schooling, but there's some stuff that I mean, none of these guys clearly see. They went to college for automotive, and they have taught themselves clearly how to work on cars. I mean, Efren, you know, does everything. I mean, there's nothing really he can't do. Same goes, you know, for Mario. Uh, he's, we've, you know, stuck him on a bunch of jobs. He hasn't got stuck with any. Uh, same goes for Rainbow over there. You know, so college, and, and I'm not saying, you know, college is, is a waste of time or useless. I mean, obviously, if you want to become, you know, a CPA, uh, you know, or whatever, attorney, a doctor, you know, surgeon, you got no choice. You got to go to college for that. You have to, you know, learn and get educated. But automotive industry, clearly they have taught themselves and none of them, you know, went to college for this. And they're all, again, I don't talk numbers, but they're all getting paid pretty dang good here uh, for the hours they work and for the time that they put in here. You guys, there's a lot of Mario's about to drop this. And now John here is showing them a trick what to do to, I guess, make it uh, easier. Okay, because we know we can't slide the manifold back, right? Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set this in position. We're going to put a little bit of uh, weather strip adhesive to hold it in place. And then we can slide the head in, hook up our manifold, and then set it down. And then we won't have to worry about trying to get this manifold on here. See what I'm saying? Gotcha. That makes the job go a little easier. So don't fight. So what, uh, what was he saying there? Oh, uh, just a little bit of work uh, getting ahead of ourselves, so, well, myself, a little easier on getting the back gasket on. I had checked and I was going to slide it in. I had forgotten that there was a stud on the rear, so you can't really slide it on the back stud. You have to set it on. Ah, okay. So tricks of the trade, you know, from See, and guys, that's, that's where yeah, a lot of experience comes into play in this business, too. I like using the weather stripping adhesive because it cures real quick. And it, once it sticks, it's done. You don't need a lot. All we're gonna do is hold the gasket in place so we don't slide it. That's all we care about. How does it do with heat? It's fine, because the heat, I don't care if it burns it away, because here's where all my heat takes place. Okay. This gets through, this handles my heat. Pretty much is just to make sure it stays in place when we're doing the install. I just don't want it to slide. Okay. So I'm just, you know, showing him instead of this job fighting him when he gets to this point, you do this simple little step and it won't fight you. Now it's secure, you don't gotta worry about falling. Exactly, or... so now you give that a few minutes, let that do its job, and then it'll hold everything in place for us, and then we'll take together and we'll slide that head in. We're gonna need to make a, a move this way when we come in with it, so we're gonna wanna tie that back a little bit. Get that out of my way, because we need this room to come in. For you guys uh, out there wondering, and have never seen the inside of a motor, well, here you go, here's the, uh, Piston, this is a piston right here. I'm sure a lot of you guys have, but there's some people that have no idea and never seen the inside. It's pretty cool to, uh, when you first time, actually open it up and see uh, what these things look like. So there you have it, guys. Moral of the story is, 
college is not good, college is not bad. It just depends on if you're gonna go, you know, go, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just, it's those loans that's gonna kill you. And if you're gonna go, you know, make sure that if you're going for automotive, you know, I'm not saying you don't have to switch uh, your, your major or what you're doing. Clearly all of these guys, you know, switched uh, when they all went to college. They're doing something completely different now. So it's not bad, but you don't have to go to college to make it in this world. You can't make it in this world, uh, you know, without college, you will just need some knowledge. I mean, obviously, and, and a career that you wanna, you know, stick with and that you like. Cause if you don't enjoy what you're doing, it's gonna be really hard for you to make money. And it's going to be hard for you to, you know, be successful. You have to enjoy what you're doing. You gotta, you know, have a, a nice, a good environment, good work area. You know, everybody stay positive and just and worry about making money and getting, you know, the customers in here, keeping them happy and doing the job right. That's the main thing. If you don't do the job right, it is gonna be a nightmare for you and your shop will fail and it will fail quickly. There you have it, guys. That's all I got for you guys today. So if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.